Is there anything here, or are we just running through the bushes? Oh, hello. Oh! Um. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. I hate clones. It's so creepy. It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Well, maybe the nose is a bit too big. I'm not ready for my fans. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my... It's my clown nose, head. Oh my gosh. Uh, use clown nose. There we go. Ouch! That's tight! Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. What to post it over secret say? Alright. That doesn't seem to work. It came off the wall. Open. Hella. Let's grab this cash. That doesn't seem to work. Pick up cash. It's exactly a thousand dollars in unmarked bills. Let's look at this note. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the f clown one thousand dollars and will hold his joke oh, book hostage until I get paid. Yeah, we got a thousand bucks, so let's it's just. It's my lawyer's business card. It's empty. Empty, but clean. Fridge assistant hasn't replenished my supply. No time for a cold one anyway. Right, so we're gonna have to get our joke book back, obviously. Ransom. I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Oh my god. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. Yeah. You. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. Come on. Let's get your joke book or whatever. No. I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. Okay. Let's get ready for our act. Uh. Connie Where Joe. A fine leather jacket. He is too far away. It's exactly a thousand dollars in unmarked bills. Yes. That doesn't seem to work. I'm already holding it. Uh. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? One thousand clams and you're not getting your joke. We have the thousand bucks. Yeah, it serves you right for playing the duckies. Yeah, here. Yeah. I have your beeping money, one thousand. How's your old ball and chain? I have your money, a thousand bucks. Oh, so you decided to pay up. That's what we're here. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only a thousand dollars and you owe me eleven hundred and thirty-eight. And quoted the interest. Oh, interest. Uh, thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh yeah? Well I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full eleven hundred and thirty-eight bucks. <sighs> now beggar off. Right. We got prizes! Let's get our makeup ready at least. Sorry. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna headed pleb. I'm Okay. So Wox who got the makeup use makeup. Now there's the face I love. Uh oh ooh. uh use the hair gel. Nice. Ooh, my clown fro looks great now. Yes it does. Okay, use the clown hat. I don't wear f hats. 
Okay, um... It's my ransom the clown swear jar. It's got cash. With 138 bucks in it. Oh my gosh, my that's perfect. states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Shut up. Anyone else caught swearing has to not just take the big bucks. Right. It's exactly 1130. Come on, hurry. Let's grab the scrabble thing. You got my money ransom the ass white clown. Yeah. I have your money a thousand bucks plus interest oh so you decided to pay up yeah well not much choice now where's my joke book why do you need a joke yeah, book you... the jokes all suck so how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these yeah what do you know about being funny <laughs> uh, about as much as you do oh now scram clowny you're scaring the customers. He zinged us. What customers? There are no Try customers. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, it's the Hello, pigeon sister. Faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I said. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. The and if you do, In it's your back. own fault for not being able to take a joke. Okay. Um, inbred free. Ooh, yeah. Let's do this. You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris has the Eiffel Tower. New York has the Statue of Liberty, and Thimbleweed Park has a pillow factory. You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. Uh. What's the deal with these Tron What's machines? What's the deal with all these Tron machines? That's some great priorities you got there. Yeah, you can't cure cancer or help the blind see, but at least you don't have to wipe your own asses thanks to the Toilet Tron 3000. Okay. Don't make fun with a kid in a wheelchair. Let's go with the mustache. Hey, you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Uh... Hey you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Oh my gosh, or he's crying. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. He's crying. Ooh, she got up. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. Yeah, but after the show, that's true. in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Oh, come on. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen. Yeah. Oh. It's not what coming off. Oh my gosh, it's actually not this coming off. Makeup isn't coming off! Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Yeah, old lady. You up the you come on. Oh no, even the nose isn't coming off. He tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Moraine. Ah, uh, didn't he say that nose was really hearts. tight or something? When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old Oh my god. How is that balloon not flying away? Oh, it is. Slowly. Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little... Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you... Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. 
The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. Go beep yourself. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of swearing, so... And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting That doesn't story. prove he murdered him, We'll though. go check up on him. Uh... Right. Let us go... Right. Uh... Let's go down this way. Uh... Ooh. Is anything in the dumpster? Filled to the brim with smelly trash. Okay, apparently not. Ooh, cake! That's not cake. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hun. This used to be Ricky's cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. Oh. Uh... What an exciting life you lead. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hun? Uh, oh, pigeons. The pigeons I'm need it. for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? Um... Two letters, so that takes out these two. And what is the make number? Uh... Um. Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes <gasps> run out again? We did uh, it! Yes, the Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. I don't know what. I want the Here cake. You go. Give the pigeons my regards. I, I want a cake. Okay. Oh, let's look at this. Can we call these people? 5275. Okay. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled. It's out of order. Oh, Why give us the numbers if we can't use it? Ooh, arcade! The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. Uh, wait, what did that say? Feds out now. Hooker! Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. Well, stop acting like a biatch. Um... Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Alright, go on. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... A flooring inspector, pirate... Ooh. Leather jacket salesman. No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... Go on. A video game developer. <gasps> it all started a few years no. back. No. Ooh, flashback. Uh, 
she only wanted one thing, to be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. Ooh. I've got to get out of this town. What's wrong with Uncle Chuck Jango? wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Flem Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Yeah, you should. Uh, let's take a look at everything, though. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman's School of Mathematics. These are part of my action figure collection, including my prized Howard the Duck. Uh, let us... Pick up one of the figures. These are in mint condition. Okay, I'm no sorry. No way I'm going to touch them. Ooh, what's that? It's a it's a red gel decoder. I don't know what that means. Aw, Dolores. Okay. Right, let's go do what she wanted us to do, which is go check the mail. Right, where's the exit? Is it here? Okay. Gosh, this is a stupidly big house. Right, let's go check the mailbox. Ooh, there it is, Mailtron 3000. Oh. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing! You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. Probably not. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank Aww, you. thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. Ooh, okay, let's look at it. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Nice. Do you have what it takes to be- <gasps> They have! They have a job offer. Apply today. Just complete and mail this comprehensive programming test, and you could be on your way. Use your computer to connect with Mucus Flim. Long hours, non-diet soda and pizza? Ah, oh, That is hashtag goals. Work with people who don't want to get to know you either. Out of date arcade machine in the wreck area and watch your parent company's profits grow. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. Dance in excitement. All right, modem number. That means we need our computer. So let's go, girl. Come on, run, run, run. Mucus Flem awaits us. Come on, pick up the pace. It's the archway leading to the second floor hall. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. Come on, come on. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 Ooh, floppy drive 64. and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Oh, 1200 baud. I'm dialing the Mucus Flem modem number. It's connecting. Oh my gosh, that noise. I can't believe my computer's connected to Mucus Flem. Welcome to the new online Mucus Flem oh, job that application mode of program. Noise. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple Mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Flem. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. Nice. What is your name? I don't know if you guys know this, but like, back when we had to connect the computer to the modem, I used to love that noise. Like, I just sit there and listen to it as it connects. Uh, Dolores Edmund. Thank you. What is your address? Do I have to get this right? I don't know. Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. 
Um. <laughs> I don't know. What are all these things? I know what C is, I think. Let's just say all of the above. Very ambitious. We like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. Oh my you gosh. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Please no. Okay. First question. Okay, she's answering it. This is an easy one. I thought we had Next to answer. Next question. Also an easy one. Reference counted. Hmm. A little harder. Ah. Debugging is on a second monitor. Last question. Ouch. This is going to take some thinking. Got it. Exclusive ore. Hey, Thank I'm so you proud for of you. The mucus phlegm programming test. Congratulations. You passed the mucus phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered oh. all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I'm so proud of you. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. Oh, god dang it, that's always the way. These are my Anne of Green Gables books. Maybe someday they'll do it. Right, let's look for some ink. It's always the same. What the hell? What? <laughs> but it's always the same. You have an important paper to Feeling print out. My way along. And the printer is like, no, fuck you. I'm not gonna print shit. What the hell's going on? Is this a Scooby Doo movie? It's a Scooby Doo. Oh gosh, why? I still get lost after all these years. Pretty dark in here. That sounds like the doorbell. Ow! Was that a Wilhelm scream? Alright, let's go get the door. I don't know how to navigate this house, apparently. That sounds like the doorbell. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. Okay. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. That's very Eligible important. $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Hi, he is okay, in jail. Back to my vitally important government job. Right. Ooh, there's a doll here. Ooh, kitchen. Ooh, poopsie. It's a can of non trademark infringing poopsie. Pretty wilted. Looks good enough for a snack. Batteries look important. It's turned off. Right, nothing else in here that I care about. Ooh, wait, hang on, what's that? No, come on. Is it this way? The fireplace looks very clean. Okay, come on. Uh, it look, doesn't look like it's down here. This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system oh, to catalog that. books. What I wouldn't give to have this room. I mean, to have this library. I can't reach that. I can't reach that. It says, out of order. How can the stairs be out of order unless there's like a gaping hole in them? Right, let's go upstairs. G go. It's the archway leading to... Are you... are you serious? Where's my uncle? Franklin, you oh, idiot. there we go. I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Oh, bless him. He's terrified. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. Oh, we make burn in hell, Uncle. What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it. 
No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're brothers. Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? It seems like a lot uh, to worry yes, about. you know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you Family know, arguments talking are the business. Worst, especially when it comes to business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 0.8mm point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2mm flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't... Oh shit, I didn't mean to stop him. Oh no. I wanted to check if I could change... Change... Because I remember seeing someone... I mean, I remember seeing someone and then they had like subtitles open and I wanted to check. How do I... Oh dear. Hello, my favorite niece. Oh yeah, George. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. You've been expecting it, but then you're gonna deal with it later. Okay, good good use of my time. I need to Google out how to change the bloody settings. Give me a second. Uh let's see. Got my phone. Thimbleweed Park. Weed Park. How to change? How to go? How to ah check options? Gosh. There we go. Uh. No, that's not what I want. Thimbleweed. Park. Controls. Oh, here it is. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. I don't know what this means. Display text, here we go. Let's save our game. Oh my gosh, we've been playing for 55 minutes. Hello, my favorite niece. <coughs> Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons, I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. Yes, it is. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. Let's talk to him. Hello, my favorite niece. Um... You should be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm. I don't have passion for pillows. I use it to sleep. That's not a passion. I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory That's and not restore what I the family to heritage. Okie dokes. Let's pick this up. It's a bottle of homemade printer ribbon ink, and it smells awful. Warning. Oop, I cut her short again. I still get lost after all these years. The piss off, Dolores. Uh. Where am I? You know what? I'm gonna walk the rest of the way back. There we go. Right, let us... It's a full bottle of homemade printer ink. Made by me. 
It's Uncle Chuck's new invention. The print tr that should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. Okay, let's. It's my state of the art Commodore 64 with dual 1540. Yay! I answered okay. all Yuka's questions. Finally. Correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. Oh shit, that's pretty cool. Right, let us pick up this envelope. Walk to the door. Just down the hall is the big... Oh my gosh, you're finally doing it's this. It's my job application of mucus phlegm. All addressed, stamped, sealed, and it's our special Mailtron 3000 mailbox. Postman comes once a day. Use this on this. How exciting. I hope I get the job. Come on. You got this. You, you got the passion. Oh my gosh, she's still there. Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. Oh! Good luck. See ya. Okie dukes. Let's open this in the privacy of our bedroom. Shouldn't open letters, like rip it apart right in front of everyone. No, let's go read it in our bedroom. It's the art. It's the art. Okay. Whew. You got this. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Yes, you do. Come it's on. A letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? How is this thimbleberry pie? Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie. Hot from the oven. Uncle Chuck wrote an epic poem about this gorgeous pie. You had it five days ago and it's been in your pocket or your bag. It's a letter from Mucus Phlegm. Did I get the job? Come on. It's a letter from Mucus Come Phlegm. Come on, open it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleberry Girl. Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Girl, you, you got this far, so just... Just do it. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Take you. You're your own woman, girl. Okay, Come but. On. Okay, okay. I'm opening it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. Oh! I'm so excited! So... Can't wait oh. to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. Good but job, girl. First. Oh my gosh. Hella. You got this. Oh my goodness, look at her face! That is amazing. Aw oh yeah. Dance. Okay, yeah, stop that. Okay, so I think we should tell our dad the good news. At least I hope our dad is there. No, but you're yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. Can I talk to you? Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it? My dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh... Here, read this. Mm. You're what? Nope, he's not happy. You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be a... Uh, to be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillotronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. Can you afford the ticket? Then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over $10 million. So? That's $20 million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. <laughs> Arbitrary date in the future. Wow. Dolores okay. Broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Uncle Chuck probably Real didn't love her to begin with. Next logical step for she's her, so sweetie. happy and he's just like, you're dead to me. Before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle oh, Chuck's fuck inheritance. Off, sure, we'll get right on that. I'm sure you have cats to feed, sweetie. Ciao. Yes, sir. 
Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently.